Hi, everyone. This is Alex Tardy, meteorologist with the National Weather Service out of San Diego. Your latest weather briefing is here. We do expect moderate and some areas of high impact due to the incoming wind, rain, and surf. Here are the key points. Take a look at these closely. A Pacific storm and a series of atmospheric rivers will continue. Now, for the meantime, strong winds coming in Thursday along with heavy rain bands. It'll be windy, gusts 40 miles per hour, many areas, even the coast. And we're also gonna see a high surf, San Diego County over 10 feet. The strong winds, of course, will extend in the mountains. Now, most areas will have one to two inches of rain. Mountain locations in parts of Orange County, two to four inches. Rainfall rates on saturated ground uh, up to 0.6 per hour, especially Orange County, Inland Empire, and San Bernardino foothills. That means some urban flooding is possible, and in some cases likely for flood-prone areas. The storm is milder, so snow levels will be high, but some snow over the mountains, not as cold as New Year's Day. Next round of precipitation is Sunday into Monday, though it looks like it'll stay mostly to the north. It'll remain active with several more Pacific storms and atmospheric rivers into mid-January. Here's a look at the atmospheric river approaching us on satellite coming up from Hawaii as shown here. We look back at the recent weather pattern and the change. Now, prior to December 5th, you can see that the weather pattern was starting to develop over California. Big block in the Alaska region and storms are going up and over. Now, the Trophiness or stormy pattern in blue has developed even stronger across the entire west and it extends from north of Hawaii. So the two are combining for very active weather. If you look last year when the rain and snow ended abruptly in California, that was a major block in the atmosphere. So right now we're in the opposite weather pattern to this time last year in January. A series of atmospheric rivers. This is what we mean, lined up one, two, three, four, five. This is over a course of the next 10 days across the Pacific Ocean. Series of atmospheric rivers. Atmospheric River 1 for this forecast period comes in January 5th, Thursday. It'll come in slowly tonight into Thursday as shown here. It'll reach San Diego County and Orange County during the morning hours of January 5th, as shown here and pointed to with the arrow. Now, the next series of atmospheric rivers look like they're poised to aim a little bit further north into central California, where it already has been extremely wet. Uh, you can see one storm system moving into central northern California, Looks like on January 9th. Then another system comes in from the west across the Pacific along the jet stream. That's due to arrive sometime on January 11th and perhaps continue through January 12th and 13th. If you look at the series of atmospheric rivers in Southern California, they also show up here. This is the strength or the intensity magnitude of the atmospheric rivers. Uh, number one, a fairly good hit into Southern California. Two, just graces us. Three, a little bit better when you get out to January 11th into the 12th. Another one on the 13th and 14th, very little separation in between them. And then potentially again, more significant mid-January. If you look across central California, they're a little more clear, vivid, sharp, because they are stronger. One, two, three, four, five, lined up all the way through January 16th. It's wet. Uh, already in the past 10 days, we've seen this amount of precipitation. Take a look at your area. Southern California, widespread two to five inches of rain. Sierra Nevada, 10 to 20. This is the past 10 days of rainfall in California. Where do we stand? The recent past 30 days looks like this. 
Central and Southern California has been the focus with wetter than average. If you look at the precipitation, wetter than average across the region from the start of the water year, Central and Southern California stands out. Now for the heart of California and for water supply, the Sierra Nevada, you can see that this year, over the past 30 days, the precipitation has really increased rapidly. It's on pace to catch up and surpass this time last year, which was also a wet start. This is a depiction of the snowpack sitting in California, about 180% of average and on pace with the snowiest year, 82-83. Here's the forecast for additional precipitation as shown here. Widespread across California, some mountain areas over eight inches of rain. The threat for flooding extends all across the coast and partially inland. Now, if you look at our area in Southern California, the orange shaded is the highest threat for excessive rainfall or too much rain at once on January 5th. The latest forecast shows heavy rain, and these are the rainfall totals expected, most of this on Thursday, especially during the morning hours. Take a look at your area, Inland Empire, Coastal Orange, San Diego, or the mountains. Snow levels will be high, higher than New Year's Eve as mentioned, but some accumulation is expected above 6,000 feet as shown here. So keep that in mind traveling for the higher elevations especially late on Thursday. A flood watch is in effect for much of California, extending all the way down to Temecula and Orange County, as shown here. The ocean areas, gale warnings, and even high surf warnings down in San Diego along the beach and coastal flooding advisories. Take a look at the forecast for the San Diego River. This information is available on our webpage as shown here. Another rise in the river is expected from the rain Thursday. Then additional rises are expected with the next atmospheric river series. High tide will be important. The high tide in San Diego, La Jolla looks to be in mid-afternoon Thursday. That'll be important when we have the high surf and heavy rain and wind. Marine hazards are significant as shown here, especially in San Diego County with the high surf. Wind will be a problem all areas. No escaping the wind from this storm coming in on Thursday over the ocean, the coast, mountains and deserts, and in the valleys in between. Most areas should anticipate wind gusts of 30 to 40 miles per hour. These type of winds can cause impact and damage, especially with saturated ground and rain occurring. A massive jet stream is to blame for this storm. Here's what it looks like on January 5th, extending across the entire Pacific. It's not going to go away. January 8th and 10th, it turns to the north and more energy comes from the western Pacific. Now, when we get out into middle of January, the 12th and 13th, Another weather system breaks off from the jet stream and carves into central and southern California. Here's what it looks like on Thursday. A large upper level storm will move into the Pacific Northwest and Northern California. It'll weaken with time and swing across Southern California as shown here. Now the next storm looks to go to the North as mentioned and take on a track across central California, January 8th, 9th, and into the 10th. Here are some of the rainfall and wind impacts. Take a look at your area and see what the expected conditions are for rainfall, wind, and peak rates. And don't forget the surf along the coast. We mentioned the weather pattern would remain wet into mid-January. The latest outlook focused on central Southern California is wetter than normal. Even further out into mid-January, the 12th through the 18th, the focus is wet. High potential for above average in central Southern California. Why? The storm track just is going to remain active during that period as shown here. 
The red line is the core of the jet stream, west to east across the Pacific, with individual waves swinging through Southern California. The key points are listed here again for your briefing. Stay safe, everyone. A difficult commute Thursday morning. Keep in mind, wind, surf, and heavy rain are the main impacts across the region, and you can monitor those on the links provided here.